There is a war going on. And no, we're not talking about Russia, Ukraine. This is a deadly war in chips, the semiconductor chips. Before you start thinking, what's the big deal? Let me inform you that without these chips, both you and the world can't function properly in this digital era. But there are more secrets behind this, because of which the US is trying its best to stop China from growing in this industry. Want to know why? Then stay tuned till the end of this video. China's growth in semiconductor industry. Do you know what the stats are telling us? China will overtake the United States as the world's dominant semiconductor powerhouse as a result of its expanding domestic chip demand. By 2030, the semiconductor market will double in size to reach more than $1 trillion, with China contributing around 60% of that development. And that's just crazy. In 2021, 1 1.15 trillion semiconductor units were sold worldwide, or around 146 units for every person on the planet. China produced 35% of the world's semiconductors in 2019, taking the top rank. Despite this, China is a net importer of semiconductors. China brought in semiconductors worth $350 billion in 2020, a 14.6% rise from the previous year. In the same year, 24% of the world's semiconductor-enabled electronic gadgets were consumed by China's semiconductor sector, but they're intending to be independent. How chip self-sufficient China is by 2030 may determine if it achieves its long-standing goal of leading the fourth industrial revolution. And that's going to be historic, but the path is not as smooth as it seems. How the USA is restricting China with their semiconductor plans. Remember what happened when Trump was in power? The Chinese telecom giant Huawei Technologies was denied access to American computer chips in 2019 by the Trump administration. But Biden is not different in this case. U.S. industry leaders, NVIDIA and Advanced Micro Devices, were prohibited from selling state-of-the-art artificial intelligence processors to Chinese companies by the U.S. Commerce Department in August of this year. According to NVIDIA's estimations, it might lose $400 million in potential sales to China in the third quarter, and is reportedly urging the American government to provide exceptions. The Processors and Science Act of 2022 was signed on August 9th and NVIDIA and AMD were told to halt shipping their top artificial intelligence chips to China at the beginning of September. It is anticipated that the export restrictions will soon be expanded to include more businesses including KLA Core, Lamb Research Core, and Applied Materials Inc. What has surprised observers the most is that the White House has also placed limits on U.S. individuals' ability to help Chinese chipmakers in addition to the bans on chips and chip equipment. Under the $280 billion Chips and Science Act, the United States will invest around $52.7 billion in the development of semiconductor chips. The goal of this action is to make sure that the United States can stay up with China as they compete for supremacy in the high-tech industry. As of October 21st, the Biden administration will apply restrictions on 31 Chinese businesses, research institutes, and allied organizations, thereby preventing them from acquiring key American technologies. The United States asserted that the goal of the most recent export control measures was to stop the supply of semiconductors and chip-making technologies that China would utilize in its military buildup and attempt to control vital industries. The leading memory chip manufacturer in China, YMTC, as well as 30 other Chinese companies, were put by the U.S. on an unverified trade list. The entity list now includes 28 businesses, including the Beijing Institute of Technology, Beijing Sense Time Technology Development, and various provincial branches of China's National Computer Center. These businesses are now required to comply with government licensing and penalties laws. As a result of the U.S. export control regulations, some of China's top manufacturers and chip designers may lose their backing which might cripple the country's chip manufacturing sector. Why USA is furious? The political and economic significance of the semiconductor sector has long been recognized by the US government. Biden has made a lot of progress toward their reshoring of semiconductor production since it took office in the White House. But it seems that the US is furious over China's insane growth in semiconductor chip manufacturing. The harsh action taken by the Biden administration against China is motivated by two specific factors. The US and other developed nations are concerned that China is weaponizing semiconductors and utilizing them for harmful ends, which is the first concern. Chinese state-sponsored hackers increasing cyber attack volume has recently alarmed Washington. 
Second, the use of semiconductors or chips for military reasons by China worries the US. Due to these factors, the US has continued to put pressure on Chinese businesses. It is doing everything it can to restrain the Chinese. These most recent actions can be seen as having a larger goal of ensuring that the US maintains worldwide supremacy in chip making and supercomputers. But China is not in the mood of getting dominated by the US. How China has beaten Europe and Japan China now produces twice as many chips as the rest of the world. The second largest economy in the world has already surpassed Taiwan and is on a level with Japan and the European Union with 9% of the market. The Chinese industry might double its market share once more if it can sustain a 30% growth rate over the following three years. China might hold an 18% market share in 2024, placing it third in the world behind the US and South Korea. The nation has been working for years to lessen its reliance on other nations and increase its autonomy regarding these components, which are crucial for 5G, aviation, automobiles, and the Internet of Things. The nation continued to import $134 billion worth of chips between January and April 2022. With a rush of public funds and long-term state goals, this independent and upscale strategy has only been accelerated by American sanctions. The largest chip producer in China, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, reported growth of approximately 42% in quarter two. This crucial business, from a strategic perspective, shocked the world when it revealed it had made sophisticated 7 nanometer chips, something many had doubted it could. Meanwhile, the once invincible Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube are suddenly on the defensive as China's social media behemoth, ByteDance, conquers the globe with its TikTok app. Details about their semiconductor chips The largest chip manufacturer in China, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, is said to have made a significant advancement. A quasi 7 nanometer technique, which might serve as a stepping stone for a real 7 nanometer process, has been developed by them. Products manufactured by SMIC using the quasi 7 nanometer technology have reportedly been supplied for a year. Although SMIC has consistently made significant efforts to develop toward an advanced process node, the most advanced chip process node it has successfully produced in the past was 14 nanometers. SMIC has been prevented from acquiring the essential extreme ultraviolet lithography machines from ASML of the Netherlands as a result of its inclusion on the entity list by the US Bureau of Industry and Security in December 2020, which was intended to restrict SMIC's ability to reach advanced technology nodes of 10 nanometers or below. However, the advanced process nodes can theoretically be created without the usage of a EUV machine. In the early stages of its 7 nanometer volume production, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, the world leader in semiconductor manufacturing, employed deep ultraviolet lithography equipment. But employing DUV equipment necessitates using more layers of masks, which increases complexity and exposure durations. Due to the increased output rate and increased cost per chip, such a technique is currently unprofitable from a commercial standpoint. The primary distinction between the 7 nanometer and 14 nanometer technologies is that the 7 nanometer technology has a significantly higher density of transistor per unit area and uses less energy. These increase the power of 7 nanometer devices significantly above 14 nanometer once. Future plants with a semiconductor. The magical chips that run everything from vehicles and cell phones to fighter aircraft and cutting edge missile systems in our technological world are semiconductor chips. No nation can independently make a single chip because they're so complicated. Beijing is aware that managing the manufacture of cutting edge semiconductors will benefit China's economy and increase its geopolitical sway. According to Xi, the global struggle for dominance is being waged on the major battleground of semiconductors and the technologies they enable. The US is aware that if Beijing is given authority over the developments of sophisticated chips, Beijing would have the means to overtake the US as the world's leading superpower. According to the Made in China 2025 strategy, locally produced chips must provide 70% of China's semiconductor requirements within three years. Chips are essential to China's military modernization as well. Not all of China's military hardware needs cutting-edge processors, but it's obvious Beijing realizes that having the ability to produce cutting-edge chips would significantly impact future confrontations. By the People's Liberation Army's 100th anniversary in 2027, 
China aims to accomplish full modernization based on informatization, intelligence, and mechanization. Advanced processors are required for advancements in AI, quantum computing, and hypersonics. Only preventing China from getting EUV equipment won't stop them from making advancements in advanced process chips, which will ultimately aid its military growth. So, what do you think? What will be the consequences of this war on chips? Can China become the top producer of semiconductors? Don't forget to express your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates. See you in the next video.